Hello! Um, Medical Coding Geek, how are you guys? Or hello, geeks. How are you all doing? Um, I know it's uh, been a while since I've done a video. Uh, just taking a rest, taking a break. Um, but the reason why I'm, I'm here uh, filming, recording, this video is I have an interview today. And I thought that making this recording, explaining this, the, I guess, whatever, the events leading up to today, because I have an interview today at 9 a.m., it is 6:35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've been <laughs> I've been up since 3:40 this morning. Uh, not out of nervousness, but I I, I slept really early <laughs> around 8:30 last night, and I took my son to uh, to school for his football training. Um, but again, I have an interview today. It is for a team lead, kind of like a supervisor, not necessarily a manager. Um, the position will oversee uh, a team of auditors. You know, you know uh, I'm assuming I will have to deal with scheduling, uh, performance, and everything. So I feel, I think... For, for most of my career, the positions that come my way, I initially don't anticipate it or I don't expect it to, for me, I, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm having a bit of, um, of doubt, but I feel like team lead, do I even qualify for that? I, I, I don't think I do. Uh, but there are some qualities in me that may allow me to to have this position, whatever. But anyways, let's let's take a let's take a, a few uh, steps back. Let's let's give you some context. I if you're watching this for the first time, this channel, uh, welcome. Uh, I've been a healthcare professional for the past twenty years. I've been in clinical documentation integrity for 12 years, and I've been an auditor for almost, almost about a month away, um, for about four years. My my last uh, meeting with my my own team leader, um, she reviewed my i guess performance for the past year and when you're given uh, a performance eval one of the requirements that um that is given to the employee before their evaluation is for them to rate themselves and give feedback on what they thought how their year went and what i, I think the, the the biggest component is what do you think or what will allow you to grow? Or what are your interests uh, in the company? And um, for years, it's it's always uh, well. Regardless, through the years, I've always had a I've, I made it very known that if I'm going into a role, I'm not here just to learn my own role as an auditor. I am here to learn everything aside from my own role and then everything around it. That would include the team lead position. I was very interested in that. The uh, quality aspect, the educational aspect, and there's a portion called appeals that I was very interested in. I just wanted to know for my own knowledge 
what is the entire framework from A through Z, the flow, um, the workflow with the entire company. And it, it doesn't, sh it shouldn't have limited with what I do in the beginning and what how it how it ends. I want to know what happens way before it starts to before I even get the claim, and even after when I'm done and I put a whatever note and I complete the claim. What happens after that? And I'm sure you all, as medical coders, health information management professionals, CDI, uh, compliance folks. You do the same thing. You you're given a task. Once you're done with a task, what's going to happen? So, through the years, I've asked. You know, I guess they they ask what what developmental uh, skills or aspects would you like to know? And it's always changed. Uh, one of them being <laughs> trying to get the CCS certification, which is still on my plate. Um, I don't know why I'm I'm just delaying on. But anyways, the a couple of years back, I think year two and three, um, it's been appeals. I want to know what happens after, after I complete my work. That never came to fruition uh, due to organizational changes. Uh, but this year, I, I just let me change things up. Let me let me let me change things up and and kind of um, make things dynamic and interesting. And I put down data. Uh, only because the information that was in the eval included data. And I figured, well, let me go that aspect because I am interested in data. I am interested in data analytics. Uh, not so much being a data scientist, but, you know, if you look at data and you make decisions on that, that's what I'm interested in. And most recently, as you could see here, um, I've started studying blockchain technology. I've included things like I'm interested in data, data integrity, data analytics, uh, the idea of, of that the company has data scientists um, looking and trending data so that way the team can perform its best. And I thought that was cool. So my I put that on my eval and then come January, late January, uh, my team lead, you know, she's doing her, I guess, monthly one-on-ones. And she brought that up to me. She says, look, I see that you're now interested in data. I said, I've always been interested in data. It's just that, um, you know, I'm trying to feel my way around in the organization and see where I can fit in. Uh, and I think data would be the best bet. And she says, you know what? Um, let me show you something, and she showed me some uh, spreadsheets, pivot tables, and all that, and 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 she shows me the data that she uses to uh, help with the team in terms of the claims, uh, and I thought that was very interesting. And she says, "Do you think that's very interesting?" I said, "Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like to see and dig into data and see, you know, where the problems lie and see if we can create solutions." Uh, and I thought that the, whatever she created in the uh, Excel spreadsheet, the whatever access thing, um, was great. And then she says, "Why don't you be a team lead?" <laughs> like team lead? That doesn't. That doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It, when I think of that, I don't think team lead. I don't think I have to manage others in order to do that. But she says that is, that is the requirement for you to have access to this. And I think if, you, if you're if you really interested in this, consider being a team lead. I said, oh, okay. Um, all right, I mean, I didn't make a, a firm decision, but it really, um, it really caught my attention to the point where I'm thinking about it. Now, um, this may get weird, <laughs> but it all, I, I try to uh, be as transparent as I can. So this year is the year that the Chinese calendar, the Chinese um, calendar, the Chinese New Year. This year, 2022, is the year of the tiger. And I was born in the year of the monkey. And apparently, this is weird. Uh, give me a moment here. <laughs> Before the one-on-one -on -one with my team lead, I read... For the upcoming Chinese New Year, uh, for the Year of the Tiger, 
uh, for those that are the year of the monkey, there is going to be some form of clash. And within that clash, meaning that there isn't conflict, but there has to be something happening. And one of the things that I've read for the year of the monkey, uh, regardless if you believe it or not, is there needs to be a change in job. But they didn't say career. It was job. So expect a change in, um, in a job this year. Uh, if I have the screenshot, I will show that to you. But I, I found it like, really, I, I like my job. I like my job as an auditor. Um, do I necessarily need to change jobs? I'm comfortable. I'm good. I, I don't need more. I don't need less. This is just right. Um, and when I when I get comfortable, I am comfortable. You know, I, I don't need any extra uh, weight on my shoulders and... I'll just kind of hover around till I'm till I need something changed. But this told me or spiked sparked the interest of okay, I need a change, right? And the one on one came. I'm like, oh, wait a second. And then I went back to that uh, the to the same to that whatever horoscope, whatever reading for uh, the year of the monkey. And, and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> this I guess this is the opportunity. Um, even though I you know, do I want to be a team lead? Uh, I guess, you know, the last time I've, I've managed people was back in uh, 2006, uh, 15 years ago. Uh, it was an interesting experience managing uh, medical records for a jail system, managing five facilities, managing over 40 employees, 24-7 operation. I thought that was very interesting. And uh, could I do it again? Yes. And even in the span of, uh, even I wasn't managing, I've been an administrator for Facebook groups. I've managed my own podcast, etc. social media. <clears throat> I know how to deal with people, uh, interviewing skills, communications. I've, I've worked on that. Um, it's now a matter of execution in the team leader role. So I decided to look, take a look at it. <laughs> I, seriously, I, I just kind of browsed through it. And, um, you know, my focus or the lead in uh, is the data part. So I, I put in my application. I said, why not? Why not? And I've always said this in podcasts and I've always said this to myself. Why not? Why can't you do it? Or really the big question that comes to mind is what's the worst that can happen if you take this team role, team lead position? Or really another question is what's the worst that can happen if you interview for this team lead position? The worst that can happen is that they say no. And then what? They say no and I go back to my job that I I'm comfortable with, I actually like, I enjoy doing. Kind of nervous, but, you know, I've, I've had practice in speaking at conferences. And, and I think the, what, what I'm trying to say, there's a lot of transferable skills when you speak at a conference in front of people, in front of webinars. And when you're about to do a interview with a panel of other team leads on video and i've done this for many years i've started the youtube channel i started the podcast on youtube um, i think i'm good and a good colleague of mine and this is also his name is also brian uh said just be yourself you've been an ambassador for the industry and just show them what you got i'm like okay I think that's that's how pretty how, how I should approach it. That's just you know a good reminder that I've I've done it. Um, I just need to be confident in what I've done. Uh, show off what who I am. Uh, I've always tried to make them laugh, so I'm gonna try and make them laugh a little bit. Um, and that's it. Just be yourself. 
and that's all I can tell you guys is don't worry too much be confident in who you are be confident in the skills that you have even though <laughs> Even though you may not qualify for the position, which I, I heavily, for some reason, in, in the back of my head, feel that way. But when you look, one thing that I always have to look at is the dynamic of the team. And it's mostly women, right? And I did a podcast with, uh, with uh, Stacy Buck, and she addressed this. You know, the difference between men and women. Are men most likely to get the job? Um, in this case, I in, in this field, I am the minority. I'm really the minority, uh, you know. And you look at, you know, from men to men and women. Um, I'm also probably the only Asian in the group. <laughs> so I am, in a, I am a minority, but I need to have a majority mindset in where... You know what? You have this set crowd. Can I fit into your crowd and add a little bit of dynamics? You know, there's a certain. This is the tone. Can I add a little bit of flair uh, that would provide uh, a good opportunity for this team to be dynamic? You know, be diverse um, and allow for different points of view. Uh, I'm expecting questions on things like team leadership. Have I done it? Yeah, I could always attest to what I've done before, even though it's not much, but it is a year. Uh, I, could, I can attest to speaking engagements, podcasts, working on video, and just being comfortable. Uh, communicating. I think that's the biggest key when, when I'm trying to be in this role is the fact that I can talk. I want to talk. I mean, I've spent already four years in this role not talking, just doing regular work. And it would be nice, like a fresh breath of air, to communicate with a voice and share my thoughts and give guidance. And I've always given guidance to professionals and students. Why not give guidance to <laughs> fellow employees without too much of a worry of productivity. I think that's that's the thing because I'm in I'm in a productivity role, and I don't have the time to mentor too much. Uh, but I would like to get into that role. Let's see where that goes. Uh, there's a lot of things. I know there's a lot of technical components, uh, systems, and softwares and programs that I need to understand. But I'm a fast learner. Uh, you know when. I'm, I'm from a time when medical records were from paper and I transitioned to electronic health records and, you know, from voice transcription to um, on the phone to microphone into the, <laughs> into the dictaphone and the transcribing systems. And I worked from radiology films to PAX images so and change from one system to another system I, I i am used to learning systems on how it affects my workflow and it doesn't take much i will see a lot of correlations and i will apply it um i could tell them i make mistakes but i learn from them i learn from them for sure uh and i think I, that's all I can contribute. I think I can do it. Now, let's see how it goes. <laughs> and, and I'm going to leave this video right here and say, again, I have an interview at 9 a.m. Um, let's see how it goes. And I, in the next video, I will update you on how it went. Now, I'm not going to ask you. Well, I may ask specific questions that are not uh, relatable, that provide any information about the company. But I will ask questions, be asked the questions or sharing the questions that they ask that you may see in an interview. And of course, I will share with you how I responded to it. And I will share with you their feedback because I am one 
who when I speak or when I do events or when I do podcasts, I like to watch what the response is. It may not be verbal, but they it, it will show on their face. And one thing with cameras is that they're on your face and your face it is something that people will look at when they are interviewing you. So be aware of what your face <laughs> looks like. Make sure you look interested. Don't have that, what is it, RBF? <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. You could, you, you could uh, Google that, RBF, right? Um, make sure you're engaged with your voice, your, your attitude, but also your appearance. So that's that. Um, just wanted to make a video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. MedicalCodingGeek.com